Hello and Merry Christmas! The Christmas season is here. Yes, festive, festive. I'm wearing a little hat. Uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So today I want to talk about Christmas presents. Have you bought already the Christmas presents? Or is there like a last minute shopping tour on the 24th of uh, December? December, of course. I actually, I bought almost all my Christmas presents um, online. But I want to give you some tips as to what to not to do. I'm really bad uh, a rapper, a rapper, not like rap rap, but like rap rap. You know, Christmas presents rap wrapping. I also find it so boring, it is so exhausting, I feel like it takes all my emotions away to wrap a Christmas presents rap rap. What is the difference between rap and rap 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 rap? Rap, rap. I try to save the environment, I don't know is that even a saving the environment, and not buy wrapping paper, but use u newspapers, use, use, use newspapers, N newspapers, use newspapers. And I wrap my presents, uh, you see the Christmas tree here, yeah, that's a lovely Christmas tree. So the other present, big present, is for me, I don't know what it is, I'm not allowed to open it. What I realized is just now after I wrapped it, there is first of on one of the presents I wrapped is like another person's face on it. I don't even know who she is. And the other one is wrapped with an article about sexual harassment. Yeah. So it's really hard to wrap Christmas presents nowadays because the news have been so shit. Do you have any tips on last minute Christmas presents? Write it down, post it down there and there. I <laughs> sound really raw. Post it down there. My mom does has always good ideas for Christmas presents. So she books herself in in a really nice hotel. You know, nice hotels where you get like lotions and uh, these toothbrushes and everything. So she does that. Then she steals everything from there. And that's what we get for Christmas. My sister got the um, hair shampoo. She gets hair shampoo every year from these little nice hotel bottles. I get the slippers. This is one. This is what she gets me. I only have one because I did a comedy show and I talked about this in a comedy show because I thought it is a really nice uh, thing to know what to do for Christmas. And I gave it away to one. I just gave one away. With a big family, it's a nightmare to buy everyone something. So for my dad, for example, don't tell him. I think he doesn't watch these videos. No, he doesn't know what YouTube is. So <laughs> underestimating him. He basically, he... Um, likes all these castles. So I bought him a book about castles in the UK. I thought that is great because then he can come and visit and go to all the castles. But then I, I was thinking this is a brilliant idea. I'm That's genius. I just made a very intelligent decision there. But then, you know, after when the book arrived, I got it and I was like, something rings a bell. It was so familiar. So I think actually I bought him the same book last year. Oh my god, I think I buy him all day, every year the same book. How embarrassing is that? He probably has a bookshelf all with the same book about British castles. <laughs> Hotel. For my grandmother, I got, got socks. Because she has cold feet often, so I got a really nice warm socks. <laughs> Would you like to have a Christmas present by me? So if you have ideas how to pimp up my Christmas presents, let me know, post it down there. I hope you have a lovely Christmas. I hope you have a nice tree. Hopefully the presents are bigger than the tree, like with me. Take care of yourself, celebrate festively, and see you very soon. Bye.